Nobody exists on purpose. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everybody's gonna die. Daniel here to bring you the latest fantasy news. We'll be following the same formula as the previous episode where I talk about more dedicated to the actual fantasy genre news at the beginning and transition into more adaptation loose fantasy towards the latter half and then at the end cover any and all spoiler filled fantasy news. Spoiler alert, there's no spoiler filled stories in this episode so watch freely, kick back, relax, open a Corona, put a lime in it because if you don't put a lime in it why would you drink a Corona? Brandon Sanderson tweeted out an apology, saying he is sorry that his progress bar on his blog has been so dormant recently, as his recent trip to Germany has taken up a lot of his time. And I think I speak on behalf of all Brandon Sanderson fans when I say, we're cool with it, dude. You're, you're right enough. We're good. Take a break if, if you need it. Take two. In additional Brandon Sanderson news, it looks like a comic book series will be released by the author called The Dark One. It'll be published by Vault Comics, and I will not talk about the plot synopsis that is in the article here because I know some people like to go into comic series and books without knowing anything. So links to the article in the description down below, as always, if you would like to dive on in. And in maybe the most wholesome fantasy news I've ever covered here on Fantasy News, Terry Pratchett's hat and scarf got their own seat at the Good Omens premiere. Rest in peace, Terry Pratchett. We all love you greatly. I wasn't the biggest fan of the one Discworld book that I read, but everything I've seen about this guy just makes him seem to be the nicest man. And I am uh, excited to see Good Omens in the future, and I'm sure we all are as well. And in additional Good Omens news, not nearly as wholesome and happy, Neil Gaiman spoke about how he regrets how much the real world is now resembling Good Omens. Definitely a Neil Gaiman thing to say. And in definitely fantasy, but also adaptation news, Raymond E. Feist's Rift War Saga is being adapted by BCDF Pictures. I don't know anything about them, but I will be doing a full video on this adaptation in the future and going into a deep dive of this production studio if people are interested, because I think this is a big enough one to definitely have all of our attention. And for my Harry Potter fans in the crowd, it looks like you are getting four more ebooks taking place in the Harry Potter universe. J.K. Rowling has confirmed that four ebooks for Harry Potter will be published, focusing on the history of certain elements within the Wizarding World. And once again, more in adaptation news than not. In fact, we're just going to transition to adaptation news here. The King Killer Chronicles TV show has been fully written in its first season, including the final. And the showrunner in the article linked in the description talks about the revisions that might need to be done. I wasn't the biggest fan of the books, but I'll be excited to see what the King Killer Chronicle TV show and movie will bring us as, well, bring you as fans. And in Remember How Everyone Yelled at Me for Being Mad About the Game of Thrones Petition News, Kit Harrington has checked himself into rehab, citing stress from the Game of Thrones finale being the reason he needs it because he also did an incredible press junket run, but also I'm sure the incredible backlash the show has gotten has made everyone feel absolutely terrible. I understand leaving a negative review. No one has any right to stop you from leaving a review, but making it so hundreds of thousands of people sign a petition to specifically tell people you think what they did was so horrible, you are entitled to a new one. Yes, I know no one thought it would actually be done, but it's still what you're saying to them. It's completely unnecessary, and it's what you call a move. I'm not saying you're responsible for Kit Harrington being checked into rehab. I'm sure many things played into this, but an attack on these people like that is, is not going to be well received and certainly doesn't help what is already a bad situation. Thousands of people work on this show. Thousands. And a lot of them did a great job. In fact, I would say pretty much everyone did, except for D&D. &D. Transitioning out of news that I'm sure has just inspired a bunch of poorly written hateful comments, Hulu has <laughs> Hulu has ordered a horror anthology series based off North American lake monsters. That has certainly caught my attention. I like big fish and I don't know why. I like big fish and I cannot, okay, wow. Westworld season three has dropped a trailer featuring largely Aaron Paul, who I was unaware was involved in this season. Very excited to see that. The Breaking Bad star is a wonderful character actor and I'm excited to see him jump into one of the current best universes on television. It has been confirmed that Princess Leia will be in the Rise of Skywalker, and they are reusing old footage of Carrie Fisher to achieve these new scenes. Stills have been released, and link in the description again 
down below. I would like to hear what you all have to say about the reuse of dead actors. It's a discussion that's been going on for a long time, but I've never really asked my audience to talk about it. So I'm curious to see what you think. Is it okay? Is it not? Using the likeness of someone who has passed on and can't necessarily give their consent for it to be done. And in additional Star Wars news, Disney expects a third live-action Star Wars series by 2022. What happened to that break? Really? Because we already have movies in 2020 and 2021, so where's the break? No? No break? Just, just gonna keep going? Okay, that's fine. And in kind of related to Star Wars, because the actor Harrison Ford news, he claims that no one will ever have the role of Indiana Jones. It will be his forever. You know what? I'm cool with that. You take it, Harrison. I love the role, and you're perfect for it, so yeah, I don't want to see one else try to be indie. You're indie. You're indie. Yeah. In quickie news, some images were leaked of the Last Kingdom adaptation that's coming. That's the news there. In additional adaptation news, Netflix has ordered an Arabic horror series called Paranormal from Mohammed Hafzi. Amar Salam. If you want to know more about the series, link, as always, in the description down below. And in probably the most beating a dead horse news that I've come across in a long time, Terminator Dark Fate has confirmed it will be R-rated and feature Sarah Connor as a Terminator hunter. Maybe I'm alone and just completely being burnt out with Terminator, but with there not being a solid Terminator entry since Terminator 2, in my opinion, maybe people disagree with me on that, I just, I'm like, just stop trying. Stop. It's done. Let, let Skynet go. Do you just, I immediately get tired when I say or even think the word Skynet. Because it's, one, not a name that's aged well at all. Like, that sounds the most cliche, 80s, bad guy, evil corp. Uh, I'm so tired of it. Just stop. Stop. Stop! That has been your fantasy news. Let me know in the comments down below what fantasy news caught your attention. I'm- Nobody exists on purpose. Nobody belongs anywhere. Everybody's gonna die. Daniel, signing off with uh, no more no more fantasy news, I guess, is the ending here. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And have a good one, y'all. Peace. Special shout out to my latest high tier Patreon, William. Rigby. Sorry, I sound so tired, William. I, I am very tired. How are you doing? You doing well? Let me know in the comments down below. And this is your uh, fantasy news shout out. Not everyone gets in fantasy news, William. There's, oh, is your name? Or just went. Now you're flying off into the end. Goodbye. Check out these videos that are all around. Uh, not, I guess they're not around my voice, but they exist near my voice. You know. Oh, look at that one. That one looks good. Click on it now.